AI music tools have gotten better and better every day, and if you're looking to jump into the world of AI music, Moobert is an excellent choice. Moobert AI is a platform for creating music with AI. It offers a suite of AI music tools that facilitate music creation, and it provides royalty-free music, music program extensions, and so much more, all bolstered by artificial intelligence. Their philosophy is firmly rooted in a fair and balanced amalgamation of human musicians and generative AI. When you create, use, or purchase a track from Moobert, you can know that a real life human musician will be appropriately compensated for their hard work. Moobert can create some really incredible music. In fact, the music you're listening to in the background right now was made with Moobert. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to create tracks with Moobert for your own use cases. Before we do though, there is gonna be a link down below to the blog article you can check out. It's gonna have more detailed information on Moobert, different use cases, and a lot more than we can cover in this video. Make sure you check that out, but here's how you can use Moobert yourself. First of all, we need to visit the Moobert website and sign up for an account. Simply navigate to the top right here and click sign up. From here, we'll just follow the steps to create an account. Now, once we're logged in, we're gonna generate our first track. First, we're just going to enter the prompt that we want. So for instance, we can create an 80s inspired vaporwave track that's upbeat. We'll choose which type we want. You can either do a track, a loop, a mix, or a jingle. We'll make a track and then we just need to set the duration. For this, we'll leave it at the default 45 seconds. And then we'll just click generate track. It'll take a little bit here and then it'll generate us a track that we can listen to. Now, once it's finished, we can click the track to give it a listen, and then let's see what it made. Move up. Now, once we're done listening to the track, we also have the option down here to generate similar tracks if you want. So if you click this button here, we can use the same prompt we've already used to generate something similar. So let's make this just quicker for the demonstration purpose and click generate track and we'll see what it comes up. We can check all of our generated tracks over in the top left here by clicking this and we can see our generated tracks. So here you can see all the ones that I've made already and here's the new one we made. You can see it's a remix of the original prompt by the remix tag here and we can see that it's 15 seconds long. So let's go ahead and play that. Now from here, when we're at all of our tracks, we have a couple options over on the right here. The big one here is this download button. So if you want to download any of the tracks you've made, you can click this to download your tracks. And then once you've downloaded a track over here, you can go to your download section and see all of the ones that you've already downloaded. Now we also have a few other ways that we can create music and a couple different options up here. So let's go back and generate another track. And we also have the option here to generate via mood genre and activities. So for instance, I can click the genres tag here to open up all of the different genres we can look at. This can really help you if you're kind of stuck in a bind of what kind of music you want to create. So for this, let's say we want to make a chill wave track so I can click chill wave. Another way that you can create music is by moods. So if you don't know exactly what genre you want to use, but you kind of have an idea for the mood you want to go for, you can use this. So for instance, we could say we want to use a motivational track. And then finally, you also have activities here to give you an idea. This will give you different activities such as sleeping, sports, focus, etc. So let's go ahead and generate our energizing motivational song. And then we'll go to our generated tracks here and let's give this one a listen. Now, another thing we can do is we can generate loops, which these will indefinitely loop, which can be used for a lot of great use cases, such as background music in a YouTube video and so forth. We'll quickly just go to genre. Let's generate an eight bit song and we'll do a 15 second loop. Let's generate this track here and then we'll see what this one sounds like. New bet. And then with the loop, the way the song ends is gonna pick right back up at the beginning, so it'll be an indefinite loop of music. Now, another awesome thing about Moobert is the Moobert library. This is a section on the site where it has tracks that are created by others. So if you're not wanting to create your own tracks and instead wanna be able to search through tracks other people have made, you can check those out here. Let me show you real quick. 
So back here on the homepage, if we look on the left here where it says explore, we can explore other tracks that people have made. You can either search by mood, genre, themes, playlists, instruments, or BPM. This is really awesome, especially if you know the exact BPM you want to use, if there's specific instruments you're looking for to be utilized, and so on and so forth. So let's click the themes tab here, and we'll explore some corporate music down below. The site will show you a quick little description of what this might be used for, and from here we can check out tracks other people have made. They're all going to have tags here in the middle so you can get an idea of what it's going to sound like before you preview the song. And if we want to try one out, we can click the play button, just like our generated tracks. So let's go ahead and check out book setting because maybe we want to have a corporate pop indie rock song. So let's see what this sounds like. So this works the exact same way as our generator tracks. So if we want to download one, we can. And you can also click this lightning bolt icon if we want to regenerate a track that's similar to what we listened to. Let's have a look at the pricing structure of Moobert. So if we go to the top right here, we can see the pricing option. And here you can see the different subscription-based pricing or single track purchase pricing options they have. Which one is better for you is gonna depend really on what you're using Moobert for. If you're here just looking for a single track, a lot of times the single track options will be really great where you can just purchase one track at a time. And here you can see all the different subscription pricing. You can see the big differences between the free ambassador subscriptions and then paid ones. And one really important one is the no audible watermark. You notice when we're playing back all these songs, it's saying Moober in the background. That's the audible watermark. And if you wanna remove that, you are gonna to need to pay for the tracks. Another thing to note is that if you do pay annually, you will get a monthly discount. So you can see if Creator, for instance, is regularly $14 a month. If you pay annually, it drops it down to $11.69. Some use cases for these. For the creator plan, this one's ideal for content creators who desire music for their videos, social media posts, and other projects. Whereas the pro plan here would be great for someone who's like an indie game developer or a small to medium sized project. With this plan, you can utilize the music you create for commercial advertisements in various formats, including radio, television, and online. And the business plan here, this is gonna be the premier choice for large scale agencies creating projects such as movies and TV shows. The big thing you're gonna get here is the added benefit of the dedicated Moober account manager, which is really important if you are generating tracks on this large of a scale. And then back again to the single track purchases, just to run through these real quick. Standard is great if you wanna use your tracks for social media and monetize blog posts. Online ad option, you wanna use this if you wanna use your music in digital ads, such as YouTube ads. All media is the license you're gonna need if you wanna use your track for things such as TV, radio, and etc. And if you're using your music for a game or an in-app experience, you'll want to use the in-app license. If you're using this for sub-licensing, it's going to cost about $499 for a license here. And if you're wanting to resell your music, you'll need to get a quote here for custom pricing on that. And again, we have the nice little breakdown here to show you all the differences if you are looking at single track licenses. As you can see, in the world of AI music, Moobert is honestly a top contender. Now, of course, this won't replace hiring a skilled musician that's able to understand the complexities and nuances that you need specifically. But again, that process will take a lot more time and be more expensive. So you have to weigh your pros and cons of if Moobert or other AI music software is what you need for your own use case. But this offers a really quick way to create music on a pretty affordable level as well. This can save you a lot of time and a lot of money versus hiring a musician if you are looking to create music for your project. Again, make sure you check out that blog article down below. It has a lot more information on Moobert, goes more in depth on a lot of it as well, and has some cool use cases that you might not have considered. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Before you go though, make sure you like the video and check out some of our other content, and I'll see you in the next one.